I'd say a pretty common um, question or fear for people in crypto is like, when do you know when to sell? Like, when's the top here? What if I just, can I, should I just keep holding it, you know, and, and, and maybe Bitcoin will keep going up, but then maybe I'll ride it all the way back down. And I think so many people in crypto share that experience of they ride something all the way up and then they ride it all the way down. They not only didn't ladder out, but they really had no idea of like, when is a top coming in? So Gordon here shared this cycle top indicator in the fast track program, but we were like, this is so valuable. Let's share it on YouTube. We probably have around 10 minutes to share this. So we'll see how many we can get through. Uh, there is a really good training and a call replay on this inside the UIG and inside fast track. So if you want the whole thing, I mean, you could check that out, but either way, we're going to see how much we can get through. And if anyone wants more, you can always let us know part two or part three below in the comments. We'll see if we can do this again. Gordon. Yeah, great to be here. So yeah, as you alluded to, Lucas, there is always that fear of doing a full round trip, you know, when the market goes up in value and we want to avoid that. And it's extremely difficult to predict when the perfect peak is going to actually happen. But there are some indicators that we can use and track to keep an eye on when might be the right time to begin scaling out for the bull run bag and scaling out of liquidity positions and taking our capital out to redeploy elsewhere. So these are some of the indicators that we've come up with. These are the indicators that I'm personally going to be tracking and a lot of us in the group are tracking over the next nine to 12 months. And we are still a while away from this, but it's no harm getting familiar with these so that we can get a gauge on on when the, the prices are going up. So the first item on the list here, and again, we will make this available. If people want to join the community, they can get it. But the Coinbase app mm -hmm. getting up the charts in the app stores. So again, all the links are in this cheat sheet, guys, for you to track correctly. And what we're going to see as we move through the bull cycle is more retail investors coming into the markets. And what normally happens when retail investors get involved is Coinbase is the number one go-to app for people to on-ramp their capital into crypto. And we even saw this back in March. I think back in March when Bitcoin got up to 73K, I think Coinbase mm -hmm. got into the top 20 apps in the app store when the prices were going up. Obviously, it's dropped back a bit with the market fluctuations over the summer. But watching out for Coinbase climbing these charts on the app stores both on iOS and on Android, both of the links are in the cheat sheet, you're going to be able to track kind of the sentiment around how many retail investors are getting involved and when that starts to happen. So again, we saw Coinbase getting up to number one in the previous cycle. It was a big indicator that retail money was flowing into the space. So you're going to want to keep an eye on this. So good. That's yeah. an easy one too. Not hard to track. It's super easy. Absolutely. Yep. Um, next up, we've got the Bitcoin ETF daily inflows. So this one is interesting because we don't necessarily have a huge amount of price history um, in line with the ETFs because, Lucas, as you know, the ETFs were only approved in January of this year for Bitcoin. But what I would be expecting is eventually we're probably going to see a little bit of a, a fall off in terms of the capital flowing into the ETFs. So since their launch in January, it's been a very steady increase. And yes, there's been days and weeks where we've had steady outflows of capital, but my gauge for getting near the, the peak of a cycle might be a more extended period of sell-off for the Bitcoin ETFs and more extended periods of net outflows from the nine spot ETF issuers in the US. So this website over on heyapollo.com is something I like to use to track these daily flows. Again, the general trend is still very bullish here up and to the right with the amount of capital flowing into these ETFs. But as we approach a peak psych, I would anticipate that falling off or rounding out with kind of an extended period of outflows. So easy again, one to track. I really hope people watching this are like, we're just on number two, the level of kind of I guess, sophistication or the level of investor that you can become when you're not just, I don't know. It's like, oh, this YouTuber said, everyone's talking about aerodrome. So I'm just getting, it's just like, that's such a small piece of the whole, which is why like, I think, I think, correct me if I'm wrong here, to put 40 or 50 hours of study into this is probably just the baseline for like, okay, now I'm an investor in DeFi. And I think most yeah. people put two hours of study and they're like, oh, okay, 
like here's a 50% pool or 200% pool. So I hope people see the sophistication and we're only on number two. I think we got time for one more. Yeah, let's look at one more. So overall crypto market cap, I think is another very good indicator of where things might go. So what we're looking at here is the total crypto market cap chart on TradingView. And again, this is linked in the sheet, but let's zoom out to a one week view, Lucas, for a moment, because what we saw with the previous couple of cycles were very big increases in the amount of capital entering the crypto space from cycle peak to cycle peak. Now, from the 2017 cycle peak in Q4 of 2017 to the cycle peak in 2021, we saw about a 300% increase in overall crypto market cap. So we went from around 750 billion at the peak in 21 to about 2.9 trillion at the peak at the end of 2021. Um, so, you know, cycle peak to cycle peak, a 300% increase. Are we going to get a 300% increase this time? I'm not sure. I think that would be very bullish because a 300% increase this time would put us over 11 trillion. That would bring us all the way to 11 and a half trillion in total crypto market cap. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe it can happen. You know, I'll be very happy if it does. We'll, we'll, we'll be going very, very high with a lot of valuations. But for me, something around this kind of $8 trillion mark is somewhat realistic. You know, I think we might land somewhere between seven and nine trillion overall crypto market cap. You know, we're seeing rate cuts over the past couple of months. We're mm -hmm. seeing capital starting to flow into risk on assets over the past year. You know, possibly a bull flag forming here on the total crypto market cap, poising us to get ready to go higher. So, you know, my signal is kind of going to be looking for this seven to nine trillion dollar range. As we start approaching that, I think we could be getting towards a cycle peak. And I think, again, we want to be strategic with thinking about laddering out as we approach that number. We don't want to be holding our entire portfolio waiting for a magic number to hit. We want to be strategic, ladder out as we move up in the overall crypto market cap. And for me, I think somewhere between seven and nine trillion is is pretty realistic. I'd love to hear what you think, though, because I'm not sure if you've got a target or, or where you think it's going. But um, yeah. Love, yeah, I just think paradigms, like I'm just like, just so everyone knows, Apple times two would be $7 trillion. And that is one company, big company, one company. This is an entire market of something that's really, I think, emerging and going to be a lot bigger than Apple, like a lot, a lot, a lot bigger than any one company could ever be. So I'm just like, if you look at, uh, I guess I can't, can I draw on the screen? Yeah, I can kind of, can you see my marker when I'm doing that? Probably not. Um, anyway. Not right. There you go. Yeah. I, I don't think anyone thought at all. Like, I, I'm sure the current paradigm is probably where if we were like, oh, markets could be a 20 trillion market cap. I think most people who've been in this space would be like, oh, there's no way because it's never happened before. Maybe someone naive who would just analyze the markets be like, oh, well, there's companies like for a whole space to be that big. It just takes everyone in the world putting in a couple dollars and like we're way past that. Yeah. Um. So I'm sure this was like paradigm altering and now we're kind of here. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know if it's this cycle, but I could see crypto being a massive player that like rivals wall street someday. Like I, I could see people having that much money in the crypto space. So I think who knows what this cycle is, but I think, yeah. Yeah. I Anyways. think we're going higher for sure. And I think I, I totally agree over what time frame it plays out. We don't know exactly, but um, yeah, I think we're going to 50, $100 trillion over the next decade or so, and lots of exciting stuff going on. So Lucas, we can make this cheat sheet available. Um, yep. As you said, maybe if people want a part two for us to look at a few yep. more of these indicators, we can do that, but this will be yeah, available let us know in the comments in the community. I'd love to yeah. know what, what anyone watching this thing's market cap could be this cycle. In fact, that could be cool to do because then we can all take a sample from it and be like, hey, where does most of the market, at least subscribers to the Crypto Lives channel, think it could be? Because I think that is a good indicator. So maybe we can all add value to each other and leave it in the comments. And uh, I'd be open to making this spreadsheet available if enough people want it. So do let me know. And with that said, if you want a part two, also let me know because I'm sure Gordon will be more than happy to share his brilliant knowledge and wisdom um fast track clients are lucky to have you dude awesome appreciate it yeah thank you lucas